All right, I'm gonna teach you how to tan hides with the fur on them. I got a bucket of a five gallon bucket of water, five gallons, and uh, I filled it up with three pounds of uh, says cannon and pickle salt. Any salt will do, as long as it's not iodine salt. Any kind of salt will work, as long as it dissolves in the water. But I like this because it's cheap. It's like four or five pounds for like a dollar, so and that's everywhere. So I used uh, some cannon salt and I. Mixed it in a five gallon bucket of water, three pounds for it. Stir it up and I just put the hides in there. Got a bunch of hides of all kind of animals. And uh, I'm gonna let it sit there for about 12 hours, overnight, over day. 12 hours or so and uh, I'm gonna get up and uh, show you next step after that. All right, I dumped out that uh, brine water. I put in fresh water, I'm just cleaning them, cleaning that salt off of them. Now after I take them out, after I clean off the salt, I'm going to take it out, wring it out, get all the water out if I can, as much of the water I can out. After I get the water out of it, I'm going to put it up here on this board and kind of let it dry a little bit. I'm going to do that with all the hides. Basically, I just washed. I just washed out the salt. All I just wash out the salt and I'm putting it up to dry. So I'll be doing this for a little while. I'll show you the next step after that. I made some just rubbing salt on both sides for you. Basically, just do this to all of them. All right, I got all the hides salted down, and uh, in about an hour or so, because it's so hot out here, you can start seeing a fluid come off. I'm gonna show you with the camera, but be like a, a little liquid coming off of the hides. It's basically the salt pulling out the the moisture out of the skin. And whenever that happens, you add another second coat of uh, salt on it. But I'll show you those steps. But for now, just put one coat of salt on it and let it let the salt do its job and kill the bacteria on it, so it don't don't rot. All right, the heart's been salted, and it'll be sitting here for about two hours. Yeah, if you look, you see how they kind of wet, feel like they're sweating. That's just the salt making the oils come out. So I'm going to add a second coat to it. And after that, I'm going to roll them up in like a little ball. And I'll show you, show you what to do next. All right. I got this coat of another coat of salt. I'm just gonna take it and just roll it up like this. Do that to all the hides, everyone. After do that to all of them, salting them down, rolling them up. After I do that to all of them, I'm gonna put them right here. I'm gonna got this board on a little incline so all the oils can leak off and all the fluid can leak off. And tomorrow I'm gonna start flashing it. But basically, I'm just rolling them up and putting a second coat of salt and putting them on the board so the oils and fat can leak off of it. And tomorrow, I'm gonna leave them there overnight. And tomorrow, I'm gonna start flashing them. Alright, that's there. I roll them up and re salted them. You can see that fluid draining from them. I got them on the incline, on a good angle. Basically, I'm going to leave them there until uh, tomorrow, and then I'll do the next step for the more. That's it for today. Alright, the next day, I'm going to start fleshing these hides. They're full of salt right now, I'm just going to put them on a little. Put them on something and flesh them off.
I made some of this flesh in it. The salt makes it a lot easier for animals like deer and otter and beavers and stuff. Without the salt, it'd be a lot, lot tougher. You'd be here all day. This isn't normally how I do it, but I think this is the best way I can do it to let you see what's going on. I got a piece of squirrel hide. I got a putty knife. I'm just going to push all that fat on. All that salt and fat going to come off with it. Pretty easy. You ain't got to sit there and fight all day with it. Basically, that's it. Yeah, I got a bunch more to do, so more or less, that's what I'm doing right now. Just washing them hides now. They're full of oil and grease. I wash them in a dishwashing liquid. I degrease it. And just basically working them like this. I get all that grease off of them. Go through all the hides and change the water, put more water and more soap. Do it about two or three times until all that grease and stuff is off of the hides. Show you what's going on. See, that's a hide. Can't really see the light, but that's the inside. It's getting all that grease and oil and stuff off of it. So, next, we're making a tanning solution. I'm gonna do it again, rinse with some soap and water. Give you a peek at what's going on. This is basically soapy water. 
I'm gonna work them hot a couple of times in that water, two or three times, and uh, half of them will rinse it out with fresh water and get the soap off of them. And I'll show you the next step after that. All right, let you know what my next step is. I took a pot of water, uh, water, and I put uh, three pounds of that salt I've been using, that uh, cannon and pickling salt. But any kind of salt will do, as long as it's not iodine salt. I put three pounds of salt and one pound of alum. Uh, a L U M, how you want to call it. It's basically just another kind of cannon salt. But we, you can get them uh, basically at the same t place at the same time. Uh, it's just a like kind of different kind of. People use this for pickling uh, pickles, making pickles and stuff. And uh, I just bought a bunch of these to make a pound of it. And uh, yeah, both in the same place, they're in the cannon department. And it just, and it's about the salt, so and anyway, I boiled a pot of water for three pounds of salt, one pound of that uh, alm, three pounds of salt, one pound of alm for five gallons of water. Basically, how it is it's a five gallon bucket. The water's kind of warm but not hot. You don't want to stick your hearts in there when it's hot. Make sure you use a, use a plastic jug and not a, and a wooden jug, not a metal jug, because the metal jug will rust out quick. Basically, I'm just gonna take these hearts out. Let me stick them in there. Alright, basically I'm going to stick them in here. And leave them in here till they tan. Every hide's going to be different, like a small hide, like the rabbit and the squirrel. That'll take about two, I say about three days. The raccoon, will take probably about four days. If you got a deer hide, it'll take about a week. But the best way to tell is, after you stick it in here for a while, just cut it. A little piece off, and if the piece is the same color all the way through, the inside, outside, in the middle, it is tan. But I'm going to put all my hides in this bucket and uh, I want to stir it twice a day. Every day, every day, twice a day, at least twice a day, sometimes more if you can. But before you go to work and when you come back to work, stir it. And I uh, keep it moving around. And I also take bricks and I put bricks on it to sink the hides. I don't want the hides to float on top of the water. So, basically I'm just putting the hides in now and uh, I'll show you after the about three or four days for some of these hides I'm going to start working on. I'll show you the next step. There's another step. It's been about uh, four or five days. And I've got a raccoon hide right here that's been tanned. Uh, the way to tell, because bigger the hide, longer it takes. A raccoon will take about three or four days. Squirrel hides will take a little bit smaller, shorter. Let me see, i got a little cut on here. i cut the piece. Let's see if I can show you. Oh yeah, right here. Alright. I cut that little piece and I just looked at it. And if you look inside the piece that you cut, then if it's uh, all white, then it's tan. If it's got like a little pink or red in it, it's still not done. So basically, just cut a little piece off and look at it on the inside. And you see, it's all the same color and white on the inside. So this whole thing is tan. So now I gotta do a little working on it to loosen it up and make it soft and all that. Let me show you what I got. I got basically a snare. One of my old snares that ain't no more good. I got it on my post. I got it anchored down to the ground through with a stalk. I got it on the, on the angle. I'm going to work my heart on that. And uh, I'm going to show you what to do. Alright. I got the coon heart that I turned inside out. Flesh side out. Uh, I, let it, I took it out of the solution. And I'm going to let it dry for a couple of hours. It's still a little moist and soft. But basically, I just want to get all the water out and just wring it out. You can leave all the other hides in there because uh, the good thing about the solution is it doesn't over tan, so you can leave it in there however long you want, however long it takes you to do all the hides. If you do two, two, three hides in one day, you go ahead. If not, you don't have no pressure. Alright, I'm going to try to work this for this camera to see it. But basically, I'm just going to take it. For now, I'm just twisting around a knot to try to get the water out of it. Basically, I'm just going to work it so all the moisture is out of it.
The more you work it, the softer it'll be. But there is a such thing as overwork, and if you overwork it, the hair starts falling out of it. But it takes a lot, a lot of work before you get to that point. Kind of you already see that it's starting to tear all the pieces of basically just tearing up the flesh to make it soft. And I'm basically gonna probably do this. I don't know. Each heart is different. Can't really give you the time. Maybe I just say, um, about an hour. I'm gonna do this for a whole hour. Just until all the moisture's out of it. See, this is pieces of it's coming off. Which is, that's what you want when it's working. Until all this stuff comes off. So, after I'm through with this, I'll show you the next step. Alright, I worked there hard for about an hour or so. Kind of went overboard with it because uh, if you look, the hair is coming out through the inside. They coming through the skin, but it's alright. I didn't go too far. I'm used to working with beaver hides and got a little aggressive with it. This is a few little hairs so that's gonna come out. All right, the next step is that I'm gonna use peanut oil. I've been using it for the longest. Any kind of oil I do, but I'm gonna soak the whole hide down with oil, roll it up, and gonna let it stay overnight. And the next morning, I'm gonna work it a little bit more. Well, I'll show you the next step tomorrow morning, but for today, I'm going to put oil all over the hide, all over the skin, and just roll it up into a little ball, and leave it there for overnight. So, I'll show you that. Well, I ain't got to show you the oil. I'm going to show you the next step I'll bet tomorrow morning. Alright, it's the next day. I got the hide all rolled up and full up. I soaked it down with some oil and stuff, some peanut oil. Any kind of oil will work. Uh, I use olive oil before, and they got uh, needs foot oil, which most people use. But I say any kind of oil that you got lying around will work. All right, next step, I'm gonna work it a little bit on this right here, which is basically just a two by four, and I cut with a little angle on it. I'm gonna work it a little bit on that just to push them oils into it, and uh, uh, I'll show you how to do that. You can still use that cable if you want, but that cable is a little bit aggressive for these small hides. I usually tan a lot of beaver hides, so that cable is pretty good. But I noticed I was kind of getting too aggressive with it yesterday. board is breaking the port on me. Don't know what. I'll be doing this for a while, so I'm just going to 
Well, it's just gonna work it for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and set all that oils out of it. Now I'm gonna probably wash it with some soap and water. Wash it with some soap and water, get all this off of it, and let it dry out naturally. And uh, see if I get enough further away. But more or less, this is uh, tanned already. It's gonna last for a long time. In fact, I got a hard idea about three years ago. I'm gonna show it to you. Put a little feet up. But this right here is tanned with the hair on it. I'm gonna wash it. For shampoo so the hair ain't don't look so greasy. But I'll show you a beaver heart I done about two, three years ago. Alright, here's a beaver heart I did. Oh, about three years ago. This is a little dirty because it's been on the ground. But it's still soft, flexible. And uh basically I did it exactly the same way I mean I just showed y'all. Uh, I got about 20, 30 more, more hearts to do, so I got a lot of work to do. But this is how I tan my heart, and I like this technique because you can't over tan it, so you don't have to get in a hurry. And it's cheap and safe. It's just basically salt, two different kind of salts, and it doesn't hurt you. And uh, if you wanted to tan hearts without the uh, hair, basically all I do is soak the hearts in a bucket of water for about two, three days. And the hair just falls off of it, and I just put in that salt and almond solution. The technique is pretty much identical. This I skipped the flesh and pulled out with the. I flesh the hair and the feet off. I, I soak it in a bucket of water instead of this in that salt of water. But most of my hides I do is with the fur on, cause that's what people are like. But there you go. Alright, I'm gonna show you some hides that's been done for about a week or so. This one's still soft and flexible and all the hair is there. It looks good. It came out real good. I got one on the side here that some of the fur came off. You see right there. And a couple of things do this. One, which I knew what I did. I fleshed it too hard when I was fleshing it. I used the edge of the blade too much. You supposed to just use the edge of the blade to start it out and then use a square for it and use that to push it off. And uh, I used the edge too much and I got too close on the inside made the hair fall out. But another thing is make the hair fall out when you have, whenever you're tanning. Uh, not enough salt and, and almond in your water or the water's too hot or you got too many hides in the, in the, in the solution. Or a number of things do it. But I've been doing this for about 10 hides like this with this same technique with the salt and almond for about 5 years I guess. And every once in a while I get a hide that messes up like this. It's not too often, but every once in a while it happens. And, uh, if y'all, if somebody else already done this technique on the internet, you can maybe post on the uh, on the internet on the uh, to see what happens or why it happens. Or like I said, I know for a fact I did this because the skin is very thin, so I know I fleshed it too hard. But sometimes if the heat's too hot or whatever, it causes these problems. And uh, that's it. I got a bunch of hearts done. And I hope that it was helpful.